When I was a child, I had what you might call a slippery relationship with the truth. Even as far back as kindergarten, when I came home from school, I was filled with all sorts of fantastic stories about the things I'd experienced in class. My older brother would often sit across the dinner table from me and roll his eyes, knowing that most of what I was saying was completely false. And apparently, when I was confronted about my lies by my parents, I said to them, but my life is so boring. I have to make something up. As I got a little bit older, I discovered that as easy as it was to lie to others, it was somehow even easier to lie to myself. Did I actually forget to clean my room and do my homework? Or did I really just not want to do the things I had promised? It was almost impossible to tell. It was easier on everyone if I just told my parents what they wanted to hear and then just kind of forgot about it. And I forgot over and over again. And when my mother insisted there had to be something else going on, I was adamant that no, really, I had meant to do those things. But the truth is I hadn't ever intended on doing the things I promised. And I was lying as much to myself about it as I was to my mom. Recently, I heard a parenting expert say that if you don't want your child to lie, don't ask them questions when you know the truth. Just tell them that you know. So rather than, did you eat the candy even though I told you not to? You say, I know you ate the candy. How are you going to make it right? Because the fact is, kids lie. They lie to you and they lie to themselves. I've seen my own kid go to the mat for something that is impossibly true, but he is convinced himself that it is. It ends up being a power struggle between me and his subconscious. But it isn't just kids who deceive themselves. We all do it. And some of our self-deception is so ingrained in our subconscious, even when we want to face the truth, we don't know where to begin. As adults, we often make choices with harmful consequences just so we don't have to face up to who we really are and what we really want. Even just recently, maybe even just today, I've lied to myself about how I'm feeling, trying to deny that I'm as tired as I am, or that instead of being angry at somebody, the truth is I'm actually hurt by them. Or one of the biggest lies I tell is that when someone asks me to do something that I don't have the time or inclination to do, I say, no problem, I can do that. When the truth is, I don't have time to do that, and I'll have to overextend myself to get it done. Part of this lying to myself and others is simply bad boundaries. Kids do it because they want to please, because they don't want to get into trouble. Adults, I think, do it for a lot of the same reason. We want to please. We want people to like us. We want to be kind. And some of us, like me, have been raised in religions that sold us on the idea that to deny oneself is to be closer to God. Well, lately, I've been trying to get better about this, and I've taken some wisdom from Brene Brown on the topic of vulnerability. To be vulnerable means to be honest with yourself and with others about how you are really feeling. And that in fact, rather than denying your own truth as a way to be holier, telling the truth about who you are and how you really feel, being vulnerable in that way, truly opens up space for the holy. It opens up space for deeper connection, deeper trust, and greater community. For me, I get a telltale sinking feeling when I'm lying to myself, when I'm lying to another about how I really feel. It's the feeling of a boundary having been crossed. And just like I would with my child, instead of going round and round with myself, did I let a boundary be crossed? Was that a boundary? 
And who says, maybe it's okay if I just, you know, do this for this person one more time, even though I really don't have the time or energy to do it. Instead, I stop and say to myself, you've let a boundary be crossed. What are you going to do about it? I face up to the lie I've told myself, and then I do my best to be honest and vulnerable and tell the person, I really can't do that for you today. And know that this vulnerability will create more connection and trust between us. May you be honest with yourself today and this week, honest about your needs and your abilities, what you are willing to do and not do. And may you trust that this is actually the way to open up space for the holy, to have deeper relationships built on truth. And may you know that you don't need to lie to yourself or anyone about who you really are to be loved. You are loved just as you are. And those who love you and us in this community want to know you, the real you. And we are with you, alongside you, on your journey to find that out. Amen and blessed be.